Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be unboxing for you the Musu Electric Kettle. This is the model KE7201C. Um, I wanted a gooseneck type of kettle, but it needed to be variable because I am an avid tea drinker and a novice coffee drinker. And the coffee has a smaller uh, temperature range that it needs to um, be brewed in, whereas coffee, I mean tea, the loose leaf tea leaves require uh, different variations of temperature depending on the type of tea. So I have a different model home. It is not a gooseneck. And um, I just went on the Amazon, typed in what I was looking for and went with the best one of the better reviews um, and it was on special so I think this was about 69 excuse me 99 but it had a $10 off coupon the coupon just was not reflecting in the cart it wasn't reflecting during checkout so I had to contact Amazon to make them aware of it and what I did is pay the price of it and they credited me the ten dollar uh, coupon code difference since it just wasn't accepting so i'm gonna unbox it plug it up give it a, a start on camera and pour myself a cup of coffee i am i just ground it down for record uh this comfort coffee blend um, is from peru i bought this from costco's it's usd organic and these were whole uh whole beans but I um, grounded it down um, over on my electric uh, grounder which I also got from Costco's but a different store different day and just in case you're wondering that is the makeup so the altitude the roast type which is a medium um, roast the origin of where it comes from and the variety and it's 100% uh, Arabica, Bica, coffee. I'm sorry, certain words, my teeth, and the pronunciation is a no-go. So let's get going with the unboxing. I'm going to show you this side information in case you want to look for it specifically on the site or Amazon.com. Be right back. Okay, when you open the box, this is the top um, pamphlet information. We believe in excellent customer service and we and will earn your satisfaction as well. So it's some contact the vendor if need be information. Then you have a um, like a SKU type of thing. I guess that's maybe with registering it or helping them to identify which model you have. And there's some more contact information in English and in another print language. And then this is the other side. And then this is some, um, let's see, care instructions, safety instructions, and how to use it. And then this is what it looks like before I begin to take it out of um, the package. Okay, before I rinse this out, um, it is a stainless steel inside, which was important to me. So that it has a little nozzle cover that you can remove. And then the cord wraps underneath the base of the unit. There is some scratch guard like rubber feet to help it um, protect your surface. So I'm going to unravel it, rinse this out, get some filtered water. I'm just going to use some purified water in the machine. I actually have um, a water filter. Oh goodness, back home. I have the one of the filters here, but it's specific for coffee and coffee making and tea making. And so it has the right level of minerals, but it removes certain things from tap water. Now I have that picture back at my other house, but for here, we're just going to use some purified water. Be right back. Okay. I have the kettle here. It's on the unit and I've also rinsed the included lid. So I'm fixing to go ahead and 
pour it in. Now this is 20 ounces of water. I'm gonna have room to go, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more. All right, put the lid on. Now, when I went online, again, I'm still learning about coffee. It stated that uh, an ideal brew temperature was between, I want to say, 195 to 205. So I'm going to aim uh, for 195. Some sites were saying 190 to 205, so I'm just going to go with the 195. So, look, you have here on the LED screen, it's saying coffee. And then that's where I can adjust the temperature that I want to aim for. I'm in Fahrenheit, but I'm sure you can do Celsius if you choose to do so. I'm just turning the dial here. There was like a set. You can set it and things like that. I have not dialed that deep into the um, manual. I'm just doing a light unboxing and demonstration. And I push the start button. Down here it does tell you, just in case you don't know, green tea, ideal temp is 175, black tea 212, white tea 185, oolong 194. I kind of know that a little bit already, but I wanted to mention that just in case someone was curious. And I'm glad, glad that they included it because a lot of people don't know. They just boil water and they steep whatever tea they're drinking regard, you know, in that hot boiling water and don't realize they're burning the hell out of it. Um, they even have in the menu boil, green, black, white, oolong, and coffee where the unit would automatically um, go to like already preset within the hardware temperature to help aid you in case you don't want to um, set your own temperature manually. So it's some preset. I'm trying to see how long the keep warm was for. I want to say when I read it online, the keep warm was for like an hour or so. But I'm trying to re refresh my memory, folks. You do get warranty email and telephone information. And I'm going to pause so that you guys are not here waiting with this as it. Um, warms up but I'll try to watch the time to give you an approximation of how long it takes to get from you know being off and cold to whatever the temperature that I set. Okay I would say it took about 60 seconds to a minute and five or ten seconds to go from off cold to the 195 Fahrenheit degree that I set it on. And I also found that I was correct. The heat preservation time, so the keep warm on this feature, is for 60 minutes. So you'll get an hour of it staying at the ideal temperature for repours. Now, I'm going to go over here. I've put, um, let me see, two tablespoons and almost like a half because this is going to be for around 10 ounces of water. I do not have a, um, a weight to weigh it. So when I got the estimated, what was it, 30 something grams, I was like, oh hell. So I knew for six ounces of water to, um, for six ounces of water to do two tablespoons. So I just added a little bit more. And I'm going to keep pouring. I've already shown the coffee early in the video, so if you skipped and you want to know what coffee I'm brewing, go back to the beginning of the video because I showed it there. And I'm going to sweeten it with a little bit of maple sugar, which I've been liking, organic maple sugar. One little drop of some organic stevia. And then the creamer I'm going to be using is the large super, a layer large superfood, um, super fuel. Not the super fuel, but the superfood creamer in their limited edition. Pumpkin spice. And then I'm going to go watch Fargo. I've been up since 6 a.m. 
I've got a lot of house chores and what have you knocked out. And so um, it is like 1140 right now. So I'm thinking on my lunch, which I think is going to be a protein shake. And um, I want to watch Fargo. Um, I'm on the next episode, season four. So, yeah. So that's pretty much the kettle. I found that it was easy to use. Um, I'll keep uh, using it. I'll do some different teas and things and maybe come back later if it's warranted and do a, like a usage review and just give you my final thoughts. But so far, initially unboxing it, first time use, you know, it's kind of glancing over the instructions. I found it very um, simplistic in its use. Um, the steps and, and the directions on the screen, uh, the luminosity and the lighting from the screen was very bright. I could see this being able to be used early in the morning with maybe one little dim light on in the kitchen where you don't want to disrupt other family members. You do get a three beep um, at the end of um, your when the program, the machine is going to exit, you do get a notification so it's not just you know, turned off and then you come to the unit and ticked off because your time has expired and you didn't, you forgot all about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll link this unit in the description box below. Most people know how Amazon is, so if it's not available, I'll try to find something comparable. Peace.